Good morning, it's Joe with Jolie Farms. Hey, we're here today to show you a little uh, neat way to preserve sweet potatoes. Um, we're actually going to wind up baking these and then freezing them in freezer bags. So we'll show you what we do. We think it's kind of a great way to get some life out of your sweet potatoes before they go bad. Be right back to show you what we're doing. Okay, so step one is to wash your sweet potatoes real good and then peel them as you see Lisa doing here, getting all the peel off. And then we're going to take them and chop them into little chunks. And you'll notice that what we're doing is we're putting uh, these into water. It helps keep them uh, nice and fresh while we're getting ready to, uh, to bake them. So uh, don't be afraid on your sweet potatoes, especially if they're organically grown. You might have a little bit of sap, a little white stuff oozing out of them. That's just the good stuff that makes them sweet. Um, so don't fear that at all. And, okay, now we're going to show you next how we uh, go ahead and prepare them to put in the oven. Then uh, you need to preheat your oven to 425. And we're going to use some coconut oil. And we're going to uh, coat the potatoes in that coconut oil. And then put them onto the cookie sheets. Okay, we've taken about a half a cup of coconut oil and heated it up just a little bit so it's liquid and we've strained off about half of our sweet potatoes. I'm going to pour that liquid over the sweet potatoes so we can coat them thoroughly. So we've only used about half of our liquid there. Next we're going to um, salt them real good and uh, we'll also, you know, you can use sea salt if you like or a coarse grain salt, whatever suits your flavor the best. Um, we use a local salt, mine locally here, and it's got no additives or chlorine or anything like that in it, so it's good pure salt. Dump them onto the cookie sheet like so. You want to make sure that they're spread out evenly and they're not really covering on top of each other if you can help from doing that. It'll help them cook faster and not stick together as much. More even baking out of them. Next comes our salt. The salt here in Ecuador is a little bit clumpy and um, it's hard to keep the humidity out of it, so it's a little challenging to use salt. You can't hardly use a salt shaker here with this salt, but it's a great salt. We're using all of our pickling products, all of our baking, and we buy it in a 25 pound sack. All right, so once our oven is preheated, we'll pop these in the oven. And we'll show you what they look like when they come out. Okay, so our sweet potatoes have cooked in the oven about 20 minutes, and we know they're done because we poke them with a fork to be sure they're, they're tender, and that means they're ready to go. So now we'll take them out of the oven. We're gonna sit them on the counter. Boy, those look good, huh? We're going to sit them here on the counter. We're going to let them cool for at least an hour. And then we'll stick the entire cookie sheet into the freezer. And we'll let them sit in the freezer and freeze for about two hours. And then we'll bag them up and seal them. And we'll show you that process in just a moment. Once you have your sweet potatoes frozen and you decide you want to uh, eat some, you can just take them out. Throw them in a fry pan like this with a little butter or with coconut oil, whichever you prefer, and then add whatever spices that uh, you would like to flavor it with. This works out really good for a quick meal and uh, it's great long-term storage. All right, so we've had our sweet potatoes in the freezer for about two hours. One of the reasons we put them in the freezer like this is so they don't stick together and so that when we vacuum seal them, they don't uh, smush down from the pressure. So we'll load up the freezer bag. We kind of, I don't know, we like to plan for about a serving for two or three people. But you can uh, size your bags any way you like. It's a very inexpensive vacuum sealer that's available in Loja.
course you can see our dogs are always interested because they love sweet potatoes. Voila, and there they are, ready for the freezer again and uh, ready to pull out and cook whenever necessary. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below. We'd uh, look forward to answering any questions you might have about this. Bye.